Recently, uh, one of my other mentors and uh, legends that I worked with was Gene Deitch. I don't know if you've heard of him. Yeah. Uh, he, he recently passed away. Yeah. Uh, a few months ago. So that was, it was like losing like my animation grandfather, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> every day we, you know, he was, um, I was doing uh, social, social media and uh, community management for a company called Rembrandt Films. And Rembrandt Films was also like, you know, Gene Deitch was a part of that because um, oh, I forgot the guy's name, Snyder. Snyder was like the last name. But this guy produced a lot of his cartoons in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they did like uh, the Nudnik cartoons, Nudnik. Um, okay. They were like back in the days when, like in the 60s, when um cartoons before like the films were really popular um yeah. they did that's like a lot of like the stuff they did like and gene worked on like everything like from the days of a like, upa mm -hmm. beautiful animation for upa oh right uh, they did like gerald mcboing boing and stuff like that um so we did that he worked on tom and jerry he worked on uh popeye Crazy Cat, I think, was another one he did. He did oh, a lot cool. of, like, the storybook stuff, animated storybook stuff. Uh, so he worked with Maurice Sendak for, like, Where the Wild Things Are. Hmm. Um, and those are, like, educational stuff he did. So he did amazing stuff, so many, like, so many things. And I learned, like, so much from him, and his brain was just, like, always on, even though he was, at the time, like, 90 80 you know? really you know 85 like 90 he still was like all there and sharp as a sharp as a tack like with his humor and everything um yeah i learned i learned a lot from him and um that was a pretty a pretty nice feather feather in my cap so i was helping them help promote nudnik which was their cartoon from the 60s but uh gary gross from Fantagraphics. Hmm. Uh, kind of graphics uh, books. Uh, they probably check a lot of great comics and mm -hmm. graphic novels and stuff. They published with Gene a uh, a few things, um, but like the Nudnik Reveal book, I think it just come out, and that was like behind the scenes stuff with like storyboards, character designs. Wow. Um, yeah, it was. It's a great book, and you can find it. You can find it online now for a pretty good price. Um, but I definitely recommend picking that one up or uh, what else does he have? Uh, there, there's a few other good books by Gene and, you know, Gene's, I got to know Gene's sons through this. They're great guys. One of them is Kim Deitch and he's like a, was an underground, underground comics guy, like, you know, in, you know, mm -hmm. contemporaries with Crumb and stuff like that, you know, in the sixties. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was pretty neat. You know, I was really bummed out when he, when he passed. Yeah. yeah, because it was, it was hard, like, organizing meetings with these people because Rembrandt Films, they were in New York. So they were in New York time. I'm in California, California mm -hmm. time. And then Gene was living in Czechos uh, the Czech Republic. He was? You know, so he was, yeah. He, he actually, he moved there in the 50s or 60s. And oh. he had been there ever since. Interesting. I didn't know oh, yeah, that. He had, a, he had a great life, yeah, like an interesting life. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so he was, you know, he was doing these cartoons with, you know, people who had no idea, you know, the American animation format or anything. So he kind of had to teach them everything there. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I don't know if you've ever seen it, like the Tom and Jerry collection of his, but there's like a special um, Gene Deitch collection of Tom and Jerry films that came out in the 60s also i think oh I didn't and know the that. animation it's charming yeah <laughs> like they're very designy looking which i i appreciate you know but uh yeah so that was that was a good feather i kept working with him huh you mentioned the book and it's got the behind the scenes stuff i don't know why but i love seeing the storyboards for things like that so much and it's it's i mean they're like just sketches and things but it's the like i don't know why those are just so appealing when i see those i'd like to seek those out too a lot of the times especially okay. i've been going down the rabbit hole of trying to find old upn 
storyboards okay. and stuff. Cause I want to know, like, I love the end product, but I want to see the mm -hmm. process of how they got there. You know, it, that's the part I really like. It's, I want to, I want to learn from that. It's like, I can sit there and copy it and go, you know, I think this is what it looks like. It's like, no, I want to yeah. see the whole process. And the only thing I can ever find is, and especially like with the story or the, the background layouts and all that is just like the Mr. Magoo ones. Those are all over the place. I want to find more of the obscure ones. But yeah, if you want a good book that I have in my collection, it's called um, Cartoon Modern. I don't know if you've oh, heard yeah. of it, but it was mm -hmm. by one of the guys who ran at the time, I think he's still there, uh, Cartoon Brew. Yeah. Um, Amid Amidi. And it's just this beautiful, gorgeous book of um, like layouts and sketches and stuff from like all the different companies that were doing, you know, 1950s, like 60s animation. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. so like, I definitely recommend hunting that one down too. That's a, that's a beautiful book. I'm probably going to do that now. <laughs> yeah, and definitely look for the Nudnik one too. Um, you can also, I think, through Rembrandt Films, order the Nudnik. It was called Nudnik Revealed. Okay. The uh, the book, and then Gene actually wanted uh, Gary from Fantagraphics. He wanted him to produce the. Uh, my girlfriend's helping out. But yeah, <laughs> the, uh, this is the Nudnik book. A oh yeah, character. I recognize that now. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, great book. I don't know if you see it. Oh, I mean, here's some more stuff. <laughs> this, is, this is the uh, cartoon modern book. Yep. Okay, I have seen that. All right, I I do know where to find that. All right. Looks like it's Chronicle Books by by Amid Amid Amidi. Okay. And really nice, and then. Uh, this is another good book by Gene that I actually I got him I got him to sign it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there cool! Or not. Yeah, but uh, this is uh, one of his early comic strips called Terrible Thompson. All right. Yeah. You know, this came out before Tom, or I guess before Tom Terrific. Mm -hmm. This might have been like the prototype to Tom Terrific from uh, UPA. That's awesome. It's a good book. Those really are all book. those are all the style that I love, and I know that you do too. 